Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. So day 21, and before the Horde Night starts, I thought I'd take on a quick tour of my new base. So I've uh, raised it up a little bit, built a little bit bigger. Um, I'm thinking of calling this one Shock and Saw. So we've got some electric fence posts all set up. Some blade traps. I got a generator full of uh, engines. And, well, here we go. We got these little cone shapes that the uh, zombies seem to be having some problems with. I mean, not all the time, but sometime. My zombies are set on jog in the evenings, I believe. Um, maybe if I had them set for run, they would be able to just blow right across this. And I got a sledge. I got a level 2 sledge as a reward from you when I was working on my uh, tier 1 and tier 2 quests to get those knocked out so we could... Uh, Start doing some tier 3 over in his area, because why not? Uh, let's see if I can get this right. Oh, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I can't wait till the zombies try to run across that stupid thing again. Yeah, so the earlier version, it was a little bit small. It was like one floor. And right now, we're about close to like three floors off the ground. So let's take a little look. So we've got the generator bank. Go inside, got full of engines. Really easy to get. You just gotta just, you know, tear apart the cars using your um, your ratchet or your wrench or um, the impact driver, the disassemble tools. Got full gas, 1,000, it's 300 watt. Let's just turn it on here. We only need about 150 watts to run this thing. And yeah, looking good. So they'll come up here, they'll fall down and they'll hit those blades as well as the electric wires. It's going to be interesting to see what this is kind of like. So, let's get this turned off real fast. Okay, that's good. I'll close that door. Also, it's nice. Um, I made sure that this last one right here is one of these so that the, uh, the infected uh, have some problems and they can find a fall off instead of giving them a nice block. Although, with this turret here, they might, or the sledge here, they might try to get up on the sledge instead you know to keep from sliding off um all right so we got a ladder and we've got a hatch up here to go upstairs got a couple of items in here supplies things that i need so i have a couple of doors different doors that take us down here to where we have some pillars that hopefully will provide enough inner uh, a small enough area for us to go and like repair this so let's say i'm gonna Let's hit that. Okay. Oh, no. We, the, like, we'll pretend the horde hit that. Now, I could come down here, and I have a whole bunch of uh, supplies here for repairing. So, all I have to do is just bang it once, and there, that's repaired. Or, if this one is starting to wear and tear, then, you know, I can repair that very easily. And, you know, we can kind of avoid the whole, oops, I got, you know, too close and got myself shocked. Even though shock isn't that terribly bad. So, yeah, this is looking good. Uh, each side has their own setup for electrical power. That way, if we lose one side, we don't lose, you know, we don't lose, like, everything. So, this is kind of nice. Yeah, it's not too hard to reach in there. I'm thinking that maybe later I'll come back and I'll just make this, like, a hatch with a, a ladder going down instead of these stairs. Because, you know, if for some reason any of them get in there, then they can come up here and, like, harass us. And I thought, nah, I'm going to do this. So this was a, I don't know, a little bit overdoing. This is, this is uh, cobblestone, by the way, which is awesome. I love those parts, the way they have that all set up. So yeah, if there's a problem, I need to come down here and repair it. If this one's taking a little, if I'm worried that's taking a little damage, I can come down here and repair all these things. It's not that hard. This is really close. It's close enough that I can do repairs, plus I have torch. Ooh, look at that. I got an open spot. Wait, I got a couple of open spots. Hmm, I wonder what happened there. Let's see, I got... Yes, I got cobblestone. It's kind of cool because sometimes their traders will give you a reward option of like a block type. And I keep getting cobblestone. And you know what? Cobblestone's not so bad. Let's go in here. Let's go for railing. And I want this one down here. So... I wonder if that light is getting in the way. Hold on a sec. 
Let me see again. Okay, eight. Okay. Double check these. I don't want uh, vultures, zombie vultures flying in. And there's that one. So that oops there a little bit. Can I get you here or are you going to say no? Um, why don't, can I go here? No, 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 I can't go there. All right, I was hoping to get some light in here. But this is not going to let me do it. <laughs> All right, that's, that's whatever. We'll just, we'll just deal with the fact that you can't get this torch up here. Hmm, I wonder what happened on the other side. I should check that make sure that that one uh, doesn't have any missing uh, railings. Yeah, everything here looks really good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That will keep them inside. I think these uh, these railings for the cobblestone are about 1,500. Yeah, that looks good. And, hmm. That's odd. How exactly did that happen? I, I don't... Oops, that didn't work. Okay, I'm just going to fix that real fast because that's way more important than having light down here. Just have to deal with the fact that for whatever reason, uh, we're not going to have light here. Maybe I can put it on the outside. But anyway, there you go. This is how everything is looking and everything. And close that door. And now we have to wait uh, a little while for, uh, for the Horde Night to begin. All right, good horde night, everyone. Here we go. Sounds like we got some guests coming. Let's get this all turned on. Interesting to see how this works. Okay, where are you? Where's the vulture? I was thinking about maybe hanging on top of the cage if vultures were here yet. Because it's probably a better view from up there standing out, you know, out in the open. But here we go. Oh! Yeah, get ourselves a little closer so we can kind of see what's going on here. Is there a dog down there? Okay, there's not a dog down there. Okay, we got those guys. It's too bad I don't have any grandpa's learning elixir. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Here's our... Uh, Hopefully, what I'm really hoping for is that this is a true AFK horde base. We just kind of hang here, just flip one switch, everything's on, and let it do the rest for us. Yeah, getting that XP is really good. Yeah, so the um, the day is set to 60 minutes, which means the horde night will be 15. Oh, oh, oh. And, you know, watch how this performs, see how many of them... Uh, die before they hit the ground because you know the shock or the uh, the blades grind them apart it looks like most of them are making it down and then getting back up and coming up so there's not a lot of damage uh, might have to add some more um, of these uh, blade traps on the sides which would be really cool oh wow look at that FPS yeah my FPS is struggling a little bit um, I mean, it could be this. I, I think I have a couple of um, applications open that probably should should close. <laughs> probably should have closed. That's probably why we are where we are. I, thought I heard something. Something above us. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All I care about is that they don't attack the base. They just. They come up here, use the walkway, and just, you know, just go right through the grinder. That's also another name I thought for the base. Maybe just call it the grinder, but there's more than just the blade traps, man. So how's everything going? I know, right around 2400, around midnight, we'll go down and we'll take a look at how, uh, how the durability is on some of that stuff and see if there needs to be any repairs done. Let's see how, you know, how, how much damage is done over time as we go. I mean, it would be nice to be able to just let everything run and not have to worry about repairing it until tomorrow. You know, not to have anything break during the night. 
but of course, if something breaks, we don't want that. Because right now, the way it is set up is the generator. Um, the generator goes out to three. You can kind of see there. It has like three spots. One okay, spot goes out. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that. So one, one line, go, one cord goes out to the blade traps on the left. One cord goes out to the blade traps on the right. And there's also um, one cord that goes out to electric fence posts. And then that kind of zigzags back and forth. So if there's one point of failure there, then the uh, electrical fence posts aren't going to work at all. all right, I thought I was hearing a vulture, but maybe not. Yeah, everyone got to watch out for cops. So we got him taken care of. Nice, nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, this might be a little bit different once if I set everyone so that they can run. So definitely be able to get across the walkway if you're running. Because I know if I run, I can pretty much make it across without falling. And the only reason why they can't make it is because they're walking. Get close to 2400. If anyone's attacking the walkway, man, we gotta like shoot them. We can't have them doing that. Let's see, I don't see any cops. Whoa, what was that? Holy smokes. Guess that was the sledge. There we go. Yeah. I guess, um. I think I'd have to probably do is upgrade this wood railing to I think iron or whatever and maybe it'll have enough uh, that'll be able to put some uh, blade traps on top of the base or we could put the uh, electrical fence post okay we're almost 2400 let's go down and let's see how it's going okay let's see do I have you? Okay, that's not taking a lot of damage. How about you? You don't look like you're taking any damage. Okay, that's taking a little wear and tear. There we go. Repair that. Looks like that has a little wear and tear on it. Oh, that's definitely getting a lot of wear and tear. Just do a little bit. There we go. Okay. Not too bad they're not getting inside. So, that's very positive. I got this set up well enough that they're not getting inside here. Okay, that's not, that's okay. That needs a little bit of repair. Needs just a little bit. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yummy. Oh, look at that. Looks so good. Oh, yeah. I was concerned. I was concerned when I was setting up the blade traps that just one little pir pillar of um, cobblestone wasn't going to be enough to hold it up. But it turns out that it's perfectly fine. That way uh, they could fall through. Although somebody might say, well, there's a problem with that. If you, if you set it up so it's completely supported, then the zombies will fall on it and they'll just stay there and get, you know, they'll get ground up and everything. And, yeah, I guess that's right. But I kind of like the idea of them falling through to the ground, defeated. You have to get back and walk all the way back up here just to fall again, you know, to make things fun. Just in case. Just in case if if we put too much support underneath those blade traps, the zombies can stand there and maybe walk on top of them or something. Probably, probably they can. I just thought, you know what, let's let's conserve our materials. Now, this, this is super expensive. There's an absolute ton of concrete that goes into making this. Oh yeah, look at that. It's good stuff. Yep, yeah, I'm not hearing anything that sounds like they're attacking attacking the base. They're just trying to come right up to me. This is really good. I'm really happy about this. This worked out really well. Let's go down here. Hey guys. Here you go. Come on. You can see me. Come and get me. Come on. I know you want me. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the cop though. 
got a cop in our last one, so got a couple of cops in our last one. Oh, I think I caught, saw a cop, guys. I think I saw a cop. Are we ready? He's gonna come up. I think that was a cop. It could just be that the electric electricity was making them look bluish. Watching. 1 a.m. We're doing well. Looking good. Oh, he almost made it. Oh, that's too bad. I'm wet. <laughs> I didn't even need this sledge. Oh, this is so... This is so mean. I'm just so mean. Oh. Oh. Oh, she got hit twice on the way down. That's got to hurt. Those electrical treatments, you never know, you know? It might help zombies, actually. Even with a bunch of electricity, who knows? Maybe that cures whatever is causing these zombies. Oh, yes, this is nice. Look at this. This is AFK. This is perfect. And the blade traps were holding up. Okay, cop. Nope, shoot. Um, you guys see the cop down there I've anywhere? About there he is. That oh. oh. <laughs> might be a good idea to hit him. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is good. Oh, I can't see him. Oh, yeah. A little bit of lag and crap. Oh, don't do that, man. I thought you were something come up the stairs. I thought maybe one of them got in. There you go. There you go. That takes care of that. <laughs> Fell off anyway. Stupid sludge is look sludge is looking the other way. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. Maybe, maybe for the next one, the next horde night or horde nights soon thereafter, I'll add some more uh, electric fence posts and blade traps just to, uh, you know, take them down super fast. <laughs> oh, this is so good. You have anything going on up there? Alright, let's go up there, because why the heck not? Probably going to end up getting hit by a vulture. Close that off. Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe in case we get knocked over. Get the cop, get the cop. Yeah, I need to put another cage on this one. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, no cop. I don't see any cop. Nope, there he is. Get him. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, I was gonna try to take a pill. We've got vitamins. Vitamins are okay. Oh, I thought I got hit by something. I've guess, got a bad guess not. Oh, look at one of them. Okay. All right, he's there. They're wailing on the door now. There we go. That should take care of. <laughs> All right, let's go down. Let's go down. <laughs> oh, poor him. Oh, 
Let's pull out. Yeah, let's go with a shotgun. Yeah. I haven't been able to use the shotgun. I don't like any of the shotguns. It's like, once I got the auto shotgun, it's like, man, this is going to spoil me. The pump shotgun is pretty good, too. But yeah, the uh, the pipe shot shotgun really blows. Come on. Come on. You can make it. You can make it. <laughs> yeah, don't attack that. Cost money, cost resources. To fix that stuff. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna get close enough here. Let's see. Now, nah, if I shoot at it, I'll probably hit the uh, the walkway Incoming myself. Enemies. Do Prepare damage, like nah. Wonder how many are left down there. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> there goes his head. There it goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, oh, oh! See somebody taking a swing there. Yeah, gotta watch that. Can't really see very well what's going on here. I'm trying my best to make sure that they're not trying to destroy. I uh, can't really see anything there. <laughs> okay, let's go check. Go take a look and see how well they're holding up. Well, is that just in case? All right. Wow, that's holding up great. That's got no damage on it. Yeah, that's doing well. That's just a little bit of damage. Okay, that one's got a little bit more wear and tear. There we go. Okay. Right, let's go check the other side. The light seems to be pretty good. Maybe I can back off on the torches a little bit. Maybe that'll help performance. There we go. Okay, that's doing well. And that does need a lot of repair. Yeah, that's doing good. Nice. Oh, that needs a little bit of repair. Yeah. So I think the next night I'll definitely have to look at what I need to do to help the performance a little bit. All right, it's getting close to morning time. I don't know how many hordes are left. Most likely, what's happening is that is the electrical fence post and the. Um, Blade traps are not killing them fast enough, and then we're just getting more and more zombies, and that's just killing the performance. Oh, yeah! Don't hit that! Don't hit that! That cost me lots of materials. Don't you hit that? Gotta watch for them. I've got a bad feeling about this. I got a good feeling about this. I got a feeling like. Uh, Oops, that's not, I wanted to stay up here. Oh yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of lag. Been 40s and 30s the whole time. Yeah, shoot, I wish I would have thought about making sure I turned all the other applications, closed them all off. All right, let's help everybody out here. Uh. Well, I want to get my loot. I want to get my loot. I want to get moving back to 
trader at Hughes Town so we can uh, get some level tier 3 quests done and everything. Lots of cool stuff to explore over there. Lots of gas, lots of power left. Oop. <laughs> All right. Hold on a sec here. I need repairs. I'll do repair, do repair there. Okay. Oh, God, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Get up, get up. Bam! Yeah. There you go. Alright, let's go get some of our loot. Let's actually let me how's that looking? Oh yeah. That needs some repairs. That's doing okay. Not so worried about that one. Mostly Yeah. Mostly worried about those. Okay, what are those? Leather boots? Okay, nice. Is there anything over here? There we go. FPS is going up a little bit. Tactical assault rifle. Okay, I like that. I get a scope on it. That's going to be pretty sweet. Wasteland treasures. Len Brass, sing some plumbing. Okay, we can sell that to Joel. Nice, get a little bit of forged iron back. All the forged iron we just spent. Okay, pumpkin bread. There's nothing over there. Add a bunch of spiked wood traps and yeah I think that they're most of them are gone okay or stern oh, some of these held off okay well that was good let me go upstairs one more time make sure I didn't miss anything any rewards let's see Yep, yep, we'll just go through and start fixing stuff. Check all this damage. You looking good. A little bit of repair work. Oh, that took a lot of damage, yeah. They didn't like those very much. <laughs> yeah, those a little bit of damage. But there you go, man. We made it. We made it through the night. Looking good, so I'll do some repairs and... I think, uh, yeah, we're going to move over to uh, Trader Hughes area again. I got tier three all opened up over there so we can start doing stuff. Yeah, There's maybe a little too much light. Get get rid of some of those torches and then FPS will be better as well as yeah, make sure you don't have anything else running in the background, Steve. All right, go. Did it. See another morning. I think this is, I think this is an AFK horde base now. I think officially we did it all right good job everyone all right so i'll see you guys in the next video later dudes